engines. I told you there's a tunnel that was blocked by McLean. So when they were ready to go with the captives, they won't bring them outside. They walk through that hole, and this is part of the hole. So we we're just on top taking photos. So they go down this way to the door of no routine, the darkness. And this place serves as a monitoring point. It also serves as a source of ventilation because from the beginning to the end, this and this are the only openings at that side. So if you have seen it, then let's move gradually to the female section. Excellent, uh, you can keep it with you. Yeah, so after this, we may have to cut back because if we keep these masks on, people are going to fall out. Thank you, you're such a gentleman. No. <laughs> we are yet to get to the end of the but now we want to see the end of the tunnel. This is the end of the tunnel, the passage. Exactly. From, from the male dungeons, the men walk through to this place. And this is the end of the tunnel. This is the tunnel that they walk through. So originally this place wasn't blocked. It was open. So they come from there in chains. When it got here, to my left was the exit point at that time. They were going this way. But due to the tidal waves, the sea was coming in. The British closed that side and they created this as a deep entrance. So from here, instead of them going this way, they would pass here. So we are also going back again. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I love that name. So only men came. They left their wife in England to take care of their children. But the men who were here were adults like us. So they couldn't stay alone for a longer time with that woman. So they raped the African captives. But sometimes, if they wanted to do that, some women would be fighting with them. The so said no to rape, they brought them here. They locked them for about a week for punishment. They were doing that for other women to see. So that tomorrow, when it gets closer to you, you will not fight again. Mm. That whole you see there was their toilets given to them at that time. They passed food and water through this place. This place also served as a ventilation outlet. But the door was always closed. Shall we move on? So it's the pure wickedness. The devil is a devil family. And this is not devilish. Don't know what to tell your family. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Now, this and this were holding dungeons for women, female captives. Women were basically 300. So 150 were here, 150 inside here. 
And you might be wondering, why do they enslave women? Because I told you they were taken to what? Babies. Exactly. They were taken to go and breed, to go and make more babies. Because they needed more people to work for them. That's why they came to South Africa. So the 300 women, when they got to the Americas, they multiply in their millions. And they use them to expand their farms. They didn't pay anything. And here they were treated like the men. They go to toilets in the dungeons. They will urinate at the end of every month. Women pass their menstruations in addition. They did not allow them to clean their teeth. They did not bath. There was no sanitary pad for three months. But upon all this humiliation, Europeans still raped some of the African women. So any time they wanted to do that, they live at the top. They come in the rooms upstairs. They open this or this. They look through and they select a woman to the bedroom. Those who refused were punished in that cell. Some of the African women got pregnant because of that. So women are ready to go. The women who became pregnant were then not taken away. They freed them from this castle. They went to build some houses for them around the coast town. They kept them there. They gave them food, clothing, everything. When they gave birth, sometimes they free the mother and the child. But they would take care of the mother and the baby up to about 10 years or more. They go and take the light skin baby from the mother. They bring the mother here again as a slave. And they gave birth to light skin children, or mulattoes. And they gave names to them. That is how come along the coast of Ghana today, especially when Europeans settle, we have light skinned people. And most of the Ghanaians having European last names, such as Van Dyck, Van der Poel. Van Vika, Bateus, Da Costa, De Souza, Johnson, Coombson, Ferguson, Morris, Jackson, Blankson, Lawson, more Brown, sons and more sons, Hamison, Yaus, and all the citizens. These are names from the white people. Before they came, they never had these names. They were typical African names, which they couldn't pronounce properly. They corrupted most of them. So I'll give you the chance to walk through the dungeons. In order to balance gender, if we didn't go in there, you might think of gender bias. So let's have a look at the female ones. Is this just one room here? Yeah, can you either go to this or this? Is there a shrine? Is there a shrine? Oh, there's no shrine. There's no shrine. There's no shrine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may be one of those sexist things, you know? But uh, for some reason, there's no shrine. But. Yeah. So Monique, I like your gesture. So we're gonna take some money from you and we're gonna build a shrine down here. I need a lighter. I need one too for later. Oh, so you come up to me like I'm supposed to have a lighter. <laughs> hey, hey, man. <laughs> you just a guy. From sexism to stereotypes. <laughs> Uh, open inside of the bag, there's a lighter. A lighter for those who want to light their candles. All right, perfect. We can use that one also. Uh, yeah, let me get the uh, light that goes on top here. I'm going to show off. Uh, give us a nice little light of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this one, uh, we definitely turn need to bring you to this one today, man. Yeah, man. What I'm doing is just trying to get you a little light in here. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. say you don't do, but that's part of our mm. vision. Like, you have to understand. I mean, fam, this is solid. The stones. He was like this guy. So we're talking about family is real, lack of ventilation. All right, so you have seen it. Let's go to the door of no return.